Romans 8, 22, for we know, Romans 8, 22, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. We know that, we know that in 22. And in 28, we know that all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord. So in 22, we know, and in 28, we know, but in the middle, 26, we know not. <laughs> see, see, this is what I'm talking about. It's when you're in the middle that you have the most uncertainty. Can I do it? Do I have what it takes? I've, I've been working with the millennials a lot lately and I really like working with them because I, I, I've already been through that. So I know what it feels like to be doing it, but be uncertain. Do I have what it takes? Can I really pull this husband thing off? Can, can I really get this career done? Do I have what it takes? Can, can I buy this house? Can, can I do what I'm trying to do? It's tough because you're right in the middle. And the uncertainty is at its height in the middle. It's not that you're not doing it. It's not that you're not on the right road. It's just that you're not sure. It's not that you're not getting the victory. It's not that you're not winning the battle. It's just that while you're fighting, you're fighting scared because you're not sure how this is going to turn out. And you're not sure you're going to be able to win. And you're not sure that you're going to get it together. And you're not sure that you know what you're doing. And when people are not sure, the more unsure they are, the more they talk sure. They run off in the mouth. I know exactly. You can't tell me nothing. I know that. I'm that. I'm that. I'm that. I'm Shut up. See, God's glory shows up when you humbly say, we know not. Do you not know you can't teach somebody who knows? You can't teach somebody who knows because they're sneaking learning and before they can really digest what you taught them, they're trying to teach somebody else because they're not going after it for the information, they're going after it for the image. And when you study for image as opposed to information, you can't digest the information because you're so busy trying to use it to one up somebody who wasn't exposed to it that you didn't get the benefit of it. I'm giving you the medicine, but you keep spitting it back out again and it can't really work down in you because you're only taking it in so you can use it to look better than the guy beside you. What God wants from us is to say we know not. 